So today I'm going to be reacting to a YouTube channel called Healing Together. And uh, he's a guy who does Kratom. He's been doing it for, I think, over five years. And uh, the dude is like, he's pretty ripped. Kind of reminds me of Kev, you know, from Kicking Addiction. Um, but anyway, let's get to the video. Of quit Kratom with me. This is not episode three. Because many of you are asking for kind of an episode two and a half, right? If you will. Which, by the way, one of the biggest parts of episode two and a half would be stay hydrated. <laughs> stay as, as hydrated as possible. Quitting Kratom is no joke. And many people continue to argue and continue to say things like, Oh, quitting Kratom was a breeze. I quit uh, Kratom in seven days or I don't know, whatever. And it's nothing compared to quitting Oxy or quitting fentanyl or quitting heroin or whatever it was. And again, we go back and forth with the same argument every time. We all have individual... What he said right there is so true. People like to dog on Kratom and they say it's just a mild opiate that you won't have bad withdrawals. But trust me, I myself experienced some horrible withdrawals. So don't go thinking just because it's Kratom, you know, it's not going to do much. The thing is, you have to take it for a significantly long time. I've been doing it for two years and two months, going on three months. That's two years and three months. Almost every day. This guy, uh, healing together, he's been doing it for over five years. So you can imagine, it's been 20 days since he stopped. You know, I'm a, I want to be on the road to recovery too. I want to do, I don't want to do Kratom all my life. Once this rheumatoid arthritis goes away, you know, and I'm really, really back to normal. I'm, I'm cutting everything off. Sober minded, straight up. That's what I want. Anyway, let's uh, finish the video. Biochemical profiles, we all quit and become addicted to different things in different ways at different times and yada, yada, yada. And there's so many variables such as how long have you taken this substance, in what doses, to what extreme, um, to what frequency. And it, it, there's just so many variables that it's going to be different for all of us. Even if two people took the exact same substances in the exact same way, in the exact same dosing, it, it's still going to be different for those two people. But I can tell you right now, from my experience personally and through all the people I've coached, the majority of my clients have said Kratom withdrawal is by far the worst. If we are trying to compare apples to apples, if we're attempting to say, well, we have similar dosing. I've heard that too. What he just said. I've heard it from many people in the comment section, you know, in a conversation. People have told me that Kratom withdrawals are worse than opiates. Like I said, it just depends on the person and how long they have been taking it. So you can't just be like, oh, Kratom does nothing. There's no withdrawals. It's, it's a breeze to get you know, to get off of it. No, it's not. Um, we've been taking this substance for similar amounts of time. And Kratom 
withdrawal is definitely the worst for me. And that's one of the reasons why I have my shirt off today because towards the end of the day, when the temperature... Yep, same here. I do the same thing. Before I go to bed, I have to take my shirt off because it it feels kind of icky when, you, when you're on Kratom, especially if you're skipping a few days. Oh, man. Like, I was talking to Slow Mo. Uh, shout out to Upper's Recovery YouTube channel. But I was telling him that I can only go, you know, like a day and a half, two at the max. And then once I get to two days when I'm when I'm off of Kratom, oh my goodness. It sucks. You get the restless leg syndrome and all that. And then um can't sleep. So let's continue the video. Becomes fluctuant and I get the creepy crawlies all over and I start doing this all day and uh, if you know you know right and then uh, really <laughs> really trying to center myself back into the <sighs> into the realm <laughs> we know what that means So guys, um, this time's a little different for me. I'm going to explain some things to you in later videos. I can't do it just yet, but it has to do with um, a lot of things for the future for me. And um, I'm not entirely sure. This is the hardest part for me, which is the um, unsureties. <laughs> If, if things were more definitive for me for the next year of my life, I, I would know what to do a little bit more clearly. But for me, I have some opportunities coming up. And I can tell you guys, I'm very excited about some of them, which are, many of you know that I used to be in the music industry for many years. In fact, most of my life I was in the music industry, which is really one of the things that allowed me the opportunity to be an addiction recovery coach and a That's actually awesome that he is part of the music industry. I noticed, and it's not a coincidence, a lot of these truth seekers and people that I come across do music just like I do. It's, like I said, it, it, it's, not, it's not a coincidence. There's a reason, there's a reason for it. And, you know, maybe one day I'll connect with, a, connect with this guy, you know? By the way, if you want to subscribe to his channel, link in the, is in the description box below. Go ahead and support him. Bodybuilding coach, because it didn't really make that much money, but because I also at the same time was in the music industry as a performing artist in bands and as a producer and an engineer. And then, um, you know, I flipped houses and had rentals at the same time. And otherwise I couldn't have survived financially, but... Um, my passion is in my coaching, but also in music. So I even went to college and to went, went to Westchester university for a uh, classical guitar study. Then I studied voice as well. And at the same time, I always coached behind the scenes. I always did bodybuilding, coaching, and addiction recovery behind the scenes. Then I got into a touring rock band and, um, got to live out a good part of my dream of rock stardom and uh, really see a lot of that to fruition until my organs shut off in 2003. I got deathly ill. Then I had to give everything up. But I felt like it was all... Then I had to give everything up. Wow. But I felt like it was all meant to be. It was all for a reason. And then I had my amazing, beautiful kids, which I have now fought shut off uh really a good part of my dream of rock stardom and uh really see a lot of that to fruition until my organs shut off in 2003 i got deathly ill then I that is insane bro look how small he is right here 
it's weird how he got ill, you know, here, because, you know, I, I can relate. I lost a whole lot of weight, too, recently, being ill, you know? So it's like, man, we got some things in common. That's crazy, though. Look at the before and after. His recovery, when it comes to his physique, is amazing. I had to give everything up. But I felt like it was all meant to be. It was all for a reason. And then I had my amazing, beautiful kids, which I have now fought two years for custody of. And uh, I can tell you guys now I've won. I've been awarded primary custody of all five of my children. Wow. Under age of 18. That is a blessing, man. That's awesome. That is good to hear. I need to get his name. I wonder what his name is. If anybody knows his name, feel free to put it in the in the comments down below. I would appreciate that. And that is enormous. It was a two-year battle. It cost me everything I had and everything I could borrow. But I can tell you all that as a father, it paid off and it... It's amazing. That is amazing. We spent eight and a half days in court in front of a judge battling for custody. And there are apparently 16 factors that the judge bases custody on, right? 16 factors. I won 15 of those factors in father's favor. And one of them was a uh, neutrality meaning it was no favor, father or nor mother. It was just uh, neutral. So essentially, I won every factor across the board in the judge's eyes. And I have been awarded primary custody of all five of my kids under the age of 18. That is amazing. Good on you, man. You know what? It's crazy how he's fighting over custody. And just yesterday, I did a live stream and I was talking about divorce. And, uh, you know, marriages failing, couples separating, and then they got kids. Someone mentioned in the chat that one of the worst things is that, yeah, it hurts that they, that they separate and divorce. But it's the kids. They have to. The kids have to suffer. Because of the parents. Decision. People are. Like marriage is like. It's not classy anymore. You know and I don't mean to go. I don't mean to digress, you know, but hey, when God puts something on my heart, I speak it. And I, I give props to this guy. You know, you could tell he was trying, you know, to keep his marriage together or whatever. But things happen. And marriages are failing today. Like I told you guys in my previous live stream. I know two people personally who just finalized their divorce. One of them being Shaylin, my best friend. It's sad, guys. These things are happening. Families are being broken. I mean, you can wonder why he's, he decides to take Kratom. I mean, thank God he's a he's found the strength and courage to... To be 20 days off of it. More power to you, buddy. Seriously. Because that's where I want to be. I don't want to be on Kratom for the rest of my life. I don't. It sounds... It sounds depressing. So, you know, I hope this video helped you guys out. 
you guys want to go watch the rest of the video the link is in the description box below so check him out man he's a he's pretty passionate about what he does i, I was skimming through his videos and, and see what type of stuff he uploads and he's pretty passionate man so show the guy some love go on over there and subscribe to him and uh yeah man don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're new here hit the notification bell icon if you want to see more future content and as i always say you guys be safe out there be blessed until next time you say one word, I say amazing